All right, on to the Judges Choice Awards. Our first Judges Choice Award goes to Gary Carlson. Um, well, Jonathan and I uh, both talked about this one and, and the next Judges Choice quite a bit because it's fun that uh, Jonathan's a painter and he first brought this one up and I'm uh, more of a sculptor and I brought the next one up. Um, that aside, what, one of the things I loved about this is um, obviously a lot of time and care went into it. I loved the Montgomery Ward um, element. I don't know what that came off of, but it just like to me is sort of adds to the nostalgia of this piece, but also the idea that like, the sinking ship, um, all these things are maybe, uh, you know, going down with the ship. Um, but a lot of story going on there. I think both of us want to know more about the lizards or dragons that are on there. Um, so anyway, well done. Um, this is really interesting. Lots to look at. Um, if you haven't had a chance, definitely walk around it and spend some time looking at all the details. Or going up, and I love a piece like this because it's definitely in the eye of the beholder, uh, or the you know the conversation that can be had with something like this uh, is the reason why I gave a nod to it. When I first looked at it, I, I didn't know uh, if it was a ship with just some things glued to it. But then, upon further inspection, I realized that it had been assembled completely from scratch. Uh, Montgomery Wards was a place where. I remember as a kid, I think in Golden Valley maybe, uh, you could buy a refrigerator and a cassette tape, you know, at the same store. So that rang a bell with me. The, the reptilian uh, items are really interesting with the earth behind it. So maybe it's like, you know, and if I'm way off, forgive me, I'm just kind of like saying what I see here. Maybe it's like on a journey and, uh, you know, it's just uh, so much to unlock there. Seem like a really well done piece. And as a painter, um, we had to talk a little bit, and I, you know, all my, I guess, thoughts about it were justified. So, uh, hats off to you, Gary. Great piece. Oh, hey, congratulations, Gary. Very nice. Thank you for your work. All right, and our second Judges' Choice Award goes to Carol Burson. <clears throat> well, uh, I would be lying in saying that uh, paintings aren't my favorite thing as an artist, although uh, I dabble in many art forms. Um, I just feel like color and light and experimentation with uh, layering paint is something that really speaks to me, and this painting really jumped out at me right away. So uh, thank you, Carol. Lucky number seven. That sounds like a story in itself, and I'm sure we'd all love to hear it, uh, given the opportunity. Um, yeah, that's what, I, that's, uh, that's what I have for this piece. Um, I just, I'm like immediately drawn to expressions on both characters' faces. I think they're, they're just like your neighbor and your friend that you want to go and um, spend time with. And I think, you know, it's not easy to capture that in a painting. It's not e easy to, to get the look of somebody right or get it, you know, the character right. And so um, I was very, very drawn to that. And I think all the technical elements just add to it with um, the color, the obviously good technique, and then um, just the interesting layers that, that she put in there as well. Nice work. Congrats to all of them. Yes, let's congratulate all of them. Congratulations, everybody.